Alright, welcome back. I'm doing another video here for Project Diablo 2. Another druid video. Um, this time around, we're doing some elemental crap. So, yeah, it's here it is. The Arctic Glass. Look how fun this is. So, it's an interesting spell. Um, its range increases with your level to the point where when it's this high, level 51, it's the whole screen. And even a bit beyond so the way it works is faster cast rate doesn't change anything here it's fixed so you don't need to get any FCR gear which is really cool because most casting builds need FCR so so that's really awesome um, each one of these individual little clouds of smoke does some frost damage and it's based on just some calculation here uh, to determine what it does but basically um, the sheet damage is not like it's not like each one of those little balls will do 34k damage um, this is like the average damage over a couple seconds I think but uh, nonetheless 34k to 38k is a lot of damage um, so let's take a look um, <clears throat> this build is also a hurricane build because Guess what? Everything for Hurricane is a synergy for Arctic Blast. Look at that. So, um, you want Solar Creeper because you're really hungry on, on mana. So, you want to have your Solar Creeper Vine out constantly eating shit to uh, you know, feed you mana. Come on, feed me mana. I don't know why it's not eating these corpses. Anyways, um, so that's what you want, and then you also want the Oak Sage for life. Uh, nice health for life. Uh, I should probably do this, eh? yeah, okay. Great. So, one, two, three, one, two, three. Nothing in shape shifting. Uh, and then you want a max Arctic Blast and all of its synergies. So, Cyclone, Twister, Tornado, and Hurricane. And then a couple points in Gust because you'll be using Gust to move around. So,. Um, yeah, that's the build there. Same crap over here. Like, get enough strength and dex to wear your shit, and then vitality. Uh, let's get into the gear. So, we get to use this cool thing. This is the Frostwind Cryptic Sword. It gives you 6 to Arctic Blast and 3 to Cold Skills. So, that's level 9 Arctic Blast. So, that's as high as it gets. This is the best item. Um, you want to try to slam a bunch of sockets and put cold faucets in it. Uh, it also gives you level 6 resist cold aura, which will buff your cold damage by another 10% or so, I think. So, very good. It also gives you, you know, high cold resistance, you see here. Um, so that's nice. Um, next we want Nightwing. It's the best cold helm, 2 to all skills. Um, and it's another source of sockets, so we can put more faucets in. And it does natively have, uh, cold pierce and cold... Uh, enhanced damage so very cool um, this build is low on resistances so we want the Mars um, there it is big Mars you could also potentially go for a 3 plus 1 elemental amulet here but I, I don't think it's worth it I think you just want the uh, the resistances uh, as for your armor, you've you got to remember we're not caring about FCR so uh, anything with plus skills and a source of faucets is again it's we want lots of faucets in this build so uh, arcanes is great because it gives you health and uh, it's got physical damage reduction so it's pretty cool um, but any of the two plus two skill uh, chests are gonna be fine um, if you can get the most uh, sockets in them this is a cool shield so you might be saying hey why don't you have uh, you know plus skills on your shield dude like what's up well actually um, our plus skills are so high that it's actually more useful to get uh, the pierce so this thing has 15% cold pierce on it uh, naturally so uh, we, we really want that and it's also a great source of sockets so we can get more pierce by putting uh, <coughs> faucets in there it's also got um, what do you call it? 50% uh, block rate, which is pretty pretty cool. Uh, gives us dex and life. Uh, 
and also cannot be frozen, which is super useful. So we don't have to slam, cannot be frozen on anything. So I really like the shield. Uh, I think it wouldn't be too hard to get uh, full sockets on this thing. Next is the boots. So there's no cold boots, so we're low in resistances. So I just went with tier haunches because they got 10 res. Obviously, this is not perfect. You could slam resistances in a better pair of boots, or you could get a tri res, like um, res boots, things like that. Uh, it's very mana hungry this build, so two Sages is a must for 40% uh, more mana. Very big help. Uh, Snow Clash with two cold skills, there's not much else to say about that. It's great to have. And then Frost Burns for the cold uh, Pierce. You could also do Mage Fist, but I don't think it's worth it to go from 34 to 35. I would rather have the 10 Pierce. Um, and I would rather have the 25% more mana. So, it's up to you, but I like the frost burns here. And then on the swap, CTA and Lidless. Always, um, you want, you want um, seven elemental skill, skillers, uh, Annie and Torch, and then of course all resist stuff. Um, this build is lacking in resist, like I said, so you probably want to slam resist in a bunch of stuff or uh, you could drop one to all skills here and go for the viper magi armor and you'd be at the resist cap too so there's options of course but uh, the cool thing about the, the itemization here is that uh, we don't have to use rune words so we have a lot of options for uh, faucets so the, the sky is the limit with this build in terms of like how gg you want to make it so uh, the Merc is pretty simple, you want Infinity. So, you could also get Pus Spitter on the Act 1 Merc with Meditation Aura, and that would be really cool, because you get more mana. <coughs> and lower resist is about the same reduction as, as Conviction. But, this guy helps when they're totally immune, because he does a lot of physical damage. Uh, so he's great to have. And I just gave him whatever, so he won't die. So you want to summon your guys when you have your call to arms on, because it's more skills, right? You also want to apply your cyclone armor, uh, which is max, so this is actually useful now. It's 900 damage, that's pretty huge. Summon our two things, and then uh, give them the old yell, right? It's getting old at this point. back um, you want to turn on hurricane and it's gonna last for like three minutes hurricane's max damage right now too because it's full energy so you gotta keep that in mind if you come across um, so hurricane does cold damage right but twisters and tornadoes they do physical damage so if you come across cold damage you can go ahead and twist them down Obviously our faster cast rate is not there. We have zero faster cast rate, so it's not very good, but um, it does the trick. For the most part, you're going to be doing this. <coughs> so let's go uh, see how it works. Uh, one thing that's kind of annoying about it is if you click on a guy, like if I right click on uh, and he dies, I will stop casting. So what you want to do is you want to click on the ground and then aim around them. Otherwise you'll end up just interrupting yourself. Uh, yeah, it's, it's strong, man. I don't know what to say. Like, uh, hurricane. Pretty good on so You're blasting them in the ass with like 40k. Back because of your, your vine, so that helps out a lot. It doesn't break all cold hands, so this is not going to work that well in maps. But uh, yeah. if you watch me do this, I'll just use Twister. Twisters are not they're not a joke either. Like, Level is our Arctic Blast with the uh, Sword. <coughs> and 
not considering gold spells. I don't think so. Yeah, we can twist her. Uh, I don't recommend using gems because they're just like. I think if you're on a boss. sound on the whole time super loud so you can see our hurricane finally wore out we'll turn that back on and uh, yeah go in here and just spray the cows down if they get close they start getting hit by hurricane and it's just over and you can you can kind of go in the middle here and do one of these and just spin a rooney and you are gonna hit everything so you could do that if you're lazy. <coughs> You'll notice I'm almost out of mana. That's because my vine died. If I resummon that, I'll start uh, regenning my mana. Um, yeah. That is the frost druid. Now, if you itemized a bit differently for a faster cast rate and you wanted to just go Twister plus Hurricane, yeah, that's, you know, it's probably going to feel pretty good. We could try that now. Um, I don't think there's anything else to say about uh, good old Arctic Blast here. It, I don't think you get interrupted when you're casting it. Uh, I could be wrong. Let's try that out. Over here, right? Boom. Uh, yeah, I don't know. They're not really hitting me, so it's hard to tell. But I'm pretty sure you can't be interrupted. So once you start casting, even if you're getting hit, I don't think it matters. But yeah, let's just very quickly uh, throw on some FCR gear. Get an idea of how strong the uh, the other stuff is. So let's uh, take this off. Get a hold of. Uh, that'll be cool. Yeah, maybe a spirit. What are we at? We're at uh, 99. So that's probably as high as we're going to get. The so next break point is 163. Uh, so let's try um, twisters. Yeah, that's a lot of twisters. <coughs> All right, let's uh, let's see how this works. Let's see if we can find anything. Yeah. All right. Uh, all right. Yeah, that feels pretty good. Not gonna lie. So that's 10k per twister. There's several twisters coming out. I don't think they could shotgun. Could be wrong. But yeah, this is probably, if you're going to go Wind Druid, I don't think Arctic Blast is the way, just because you're going to hit the Frost Immunes. With this setup, you're, you've got physical damage and cold damage, so you're not going to you're not gonna have any issues, because there's no physical and uh, cold immunes. So like, this guy is immune to physical, but you could just sit in my Hurricane, right? Or I could Arctic Blast him. Because Arctic Blast is, even though I took off all that gear that gave me Arctic Blast damage, it's still 20k. Like, that's, that's not a, that's it's still pretty good. Like, it's no joke. So, yeah, Wind Druid is, I would say, it's, uh, it's not bad. 
I think it still suffers from all the other Druid issues, like the fact that uh, your frames are all messed up. You don't really have good block chance. <coughs> Yeah, see, he goes down real quick. So yeah, um, I'll do fire druid next. Let's uh, mold it. <laughs> 